Hey, it's time to start making some shavings. I'm Captain Eddie Castellan. You're here with me. No, you're there with you, and I'm here with me, and we're going to talk a little bit about wood turning. Okay? I, well, let me start this out. Last week, I told you I was taking a pause. Well, I really am. But the doctors have changed it a little bit. The parameters are a little bit easier on me. Easier? Easy on me. Number one, I got to take a language class. Phew. All right, no. I cannot be in my shop or your shop or their shop or their shop at any time right now. That's completely off limits. Number two, I got to limit my transportation to about 20 minutes a trip. Otherwise, the brain, see the cut right there? That'll really give me a problem. Number three, I can't do videos of wood turning or in my shop. We're working on that because I think I can do it if I don't have to do anything that requires this. That's the problem. And the next is I can't be in any confined areas with humans. All right, that, it's not a coronavirus thing. It's not, well, I don't, can't even say that. <clears throat> the bottom line is, if I get a cold, it could knock me flat. I mean, really knock me flat. So we're not going to do it. But we're going to work around it. You know, yeah, around it, like wood turning. We're going to go around it. But that was revision. After I put out the one said pause, one of my other doctors saw the video and called the doctor that gave me the directions. And he said, we're overdoing it a little bit. Or I interpreted it a little bit wrong. So with their assistance, we all got on the phone together, about four people, and we talked about it. Now, how's that? I got four doctors on the phone at one time. I got to be special. Um, and we talked about it. And we came up with a new set of rules, and that's what you're looking at now. They even told me I can cut my grass if I have a chaperone. Just somebody out there in case I get hurt, um, they can do something. You know, I got a John Deere. It's got so many safety on it. It's just crazy. You stand up, you fall down, you kick over, you push the wrong button, you don't tell it to go in reverse, besides putting it in reverse. So, hey, you know, it's a fairly safe thing. I cut my half-acre yard the other day, and it looks, well, it doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, I had weeds that high. Yeah. And, uh, well, I don't want to keep going on that. What I want to talk about is wood turning. My wife suggested, and she's doing pretty good. She's on a mend. Um, she's doing her PT and a couple other things so that she's better off and almost ready to come home. Not close. Yeah, then she gets back here and I won't have to do the dishes. All right. We were talking the other day about wood, wood turning and some techniques and some things. And this is not look what I can do that you can't do. This is a look what I did and you can do. And it's not that complicated. But when you're doing something, it's that extra little bit you put in it that makes it yours and yours alone. I've been saying this for 10 years. I can't teach you art. I can teach you how to use your tools. Everything else is up to you. And art is an eye of the beholder, and some of us have really bad eyes. So with that, I got a couple of pieces up. This is a nice piece of uh, poplar I had out in the shop. And you can see where I got the, the dark grains and the light grains and all. But what I did is I turned it out and then I put a little lacquer, I mean, a little, uh, I know what it's called, it's called sealer. I put a little sealer on it, then I went back and sanded it a little bit and see how the, the color shift at the bottom? That stain, that's an alcohol-based stain. I'd like to tell you what brand it is. I did this thing in 2013, because that's when I was still signing my work like it was important. Um, but it came out really nice. Um, I, what I did, all right, I can do it, you can't. I copied something David Ellsworth did. He did a whole series of them. A little big, big, big. And it looked fantastic. I don't think the opening in his was as big as mine. And oh yeah, by the way, I stained the inside around that same green stain. So when you look in and when you feel inside, it's smooth. Only a wood turner would reach in something to see if it's smooth. But it's smooth inside. I sanded it and everything. That might be why I got the hole that big. 
but it's really thin. It's about an eighth of an inch thick up here. It might go to a quarter. It was still a little green when I turned it. I'll let it dry naturally. Well, naturally. All right. Uh, naturally means you don't rush it. You don't put it in a microwave. You don't boil it in a pot of water. You don't put it in the sun. You don't put it in wind. Um, you get a paper bag. Remember I said paper. You get a paper bag. You throw some shavings from this and only from this in that paper bag. Shake it up, make sure it's covered, and then you leave it in there for a couple of weeks. About once a week, you open the bag up, let it breathe a little bit, and close it back up. Um, I did say use the same shavings, all right? Because if you pick up some other shavings, like this is poplar, and I go get some sycamore and throw it in there, and maybe a little paduk and throw it in there, or oak and throw it in there, I'm going to get a fungus. I've got to dance with the dragon. If the phone rings, I'll lose the camera. <clears throat> I'm holding this piece, and I said that if you let it dry naturally, and you put it in a bag with its shavings and dry it slowly, you get less cracking. I know you want it to go quicker, but hey, do you want to go quicker and crack? Do you want to go quicker and get weird? Or do you want it to go naturally and change? Now, when I said this shavings, I meant these shavings. Now, what if I would turn something like this, and this was turned in out of green wood, soft wood. Um, I said green wood because it wasn't that 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 dry, okay? <clears throat> now, I turned this, and if I picked up shavings from other cuts in the shop, from oak, poplar, not poplar, oak, um, mesquite, um, cocobolo, uh, paduke, um, white ash, uh, I'm trying to run down a list that I have in the shop. If I run into all those pieces and I take a little shavings and put it in here, this is going to get fungus. I like that idea. A fungus. Yeah. What's it going to do? It's going to begin to spalt a little bit. Now, when it spalts a little bit, you're going to get some black lines in it, some accent colors. And that is really important. It will really accent the piece. Why? Some folks just can't do that. And then when you do it, they say, hey, how'd you do that? Don't tell them, okay? No, share around, but try it. Now, that's a small piece. I've got it with that little green on it. That could have been green, blue. Um, any of the primary colors would stand there. Uh, I won't get the blending colors to get something unique. Like If you want a purple, you can make a purple. But I would get the standards and play with them a little bit. Remember, it's an alcohol-based stain. That latex crap is what I called it. Okay, now I got another one here. And I was on a kick for this. This is a nice piece. This I turned in, wow, again in 2013. And it's a hollow shape. And I copied this from somebody. I put a fairly large hole in it. I'm a good turner. I got I got it all the way down to the corner. Yeah, look, grab my finger ain't 10 inches long. Otherwise, I'd be checking the whole thing. Um, but I hollowed it out, and I used a hollowing jig that I made. And since then, I've changed over to a hollowing jig that's made by JT Tools. Um, and I did one like this with their rig, and I got it even thinner because I was using their laser. Now JT's got one that's got a camera, and you put it through to a video of this thing, and you can watch, you can look down over the top and see where your cutter is and where the wall or wood is. There's no guessing. Go and those guys really create a nice one. I mean, you run, you can run, you, do your plowing, and then do that final rundown or do that. You won't have anything to sand out of there. It'll be sliced out. It'll be beautiful, and that's what, what you're looking for. Now this one, um, I like the finish on it. I did this with CA. This is when I first started playing with CA. I went to SWAT, Southwest Association of Turners, SWAT.org, and they had a guy doing a demonstration on CA. And for about six months after that, I, found, I couldn't find anything else. But I want to digress here a little bit. When I do CA, I prep this wood or prime this wood just like it was going to get poly or varnish or anything else on the top of it. This is prepped. And what I did was, when it was still on the lathe, and it was still chucked up, and I smoothed this out by holding it the other way, it's still chucked up, 
I sealed it with a lacquer base sealer. I like deft. Uh, if you can't get it in your area, you can order from Amazon. Um, I sealed it with two or three coats of sealer, and I lightly buffed it in. I mean, like, I don't want to remove the sealer. I remove any crap that got on, pardon me. We got any stuff that got on the sealer. I don't remove that. That makes it nice and slick, but it also seals the wood. Did you catch that sealer part? It seals the wood. And then you buff that off a little bit. You can screw your scotch Bright pad. I'm saying scotch Bright, but Vince Welch has got to be in there, not scotch Bright. But it's like scotch Bright, and they come in different densities. So I started with the red, and then I went to the next one, and I ended up with a white. Then I took a really hard look at it to see if there are any holidays in it. And high spots, low spots, whatever. And then I went and touched those up, if needed, and then I buffed it back out again. Now, what I'm pointing out with that is a finish is a finish. It's not something you can whack off and get there in a heartbeat. It's a finish. So if you prep the wood for the finish, it'll come out a lot better than if you eh, just smear it on there. Um, I know wood turners that won't go with anything else than a medium thick super glue and put it right on there, or a slow drying super glue and put it right on there. It might look good for a little bit, but I think it's going to give up on you. But this is another one where I did a stain, and this is the same green. I must have been on a kick for it. I did a green down here on the bottom, right in this area, because you can't see what I'm doing over here. Just like that little green, and then I dyed the inside darker, so you can't see wood in there, so it looks exotic. And then I coated it with CA. Now, this was fairly dry when I cut it, so it didn't move a lot. That hole stayed pretty round. Um, where this one I did, can you see that that hole is? Ah, you see it now? It's it's oblong. Yeah, the wood moves just like wood always does. And it moves with the grain, not across the grain. It moves and it'll shrink or grow. Hell, that's how you do cowboy hats. Then I did this piece and I figured I want to put a little bit of art on top of it. So then I got the light out and I did this. See that finial? Now, this is not what I do now for finials. I would more along the line is, well, there's a couple of points here that don't align. If I put a straight edge against it, I'd get it right to line. But I had to make the base a little bit bigger so it fit over that hole, that monstrous hole I had. Now, you see this thing is crooked a little bit because it did twist. This is African blackwood, and I didn't even decorate the bottom of it. Um, but this bowl went a little bit out of round right there. Not much, but I can tell when I put the plug in it because when I spin the plug, which moved a little bit, it'll get looser to fit. If I spin a little bit more crossing the grain of the of the, the, the finial with the wood, then it won't get as tight. It don't get so tight here. All right. And it'll come right out. So watch when you're drying it. If you dry it, it won't go so wacky. And then when you put the finial or anything else on top of it, it's going to look pretty good. Now, I wish I could do better photographs in here, but that's not going to happen. But we're going to work together on this and a bunch of other things. You see, this channel is not about big guy productions. I sell all kinds of things for returning. That's my website is www.eddiecastellan.com. Um, and we're still in business. I said we paused, but we didn't stop. Um, but if you've got something, you need something, that's where to go. But I'm also collecting photographs. And I talked to Ian a little bit this morning. Don called me this morning. i got to look at the names because I can't do that. Don called me this morning and said, Hey, would you like to see a bowl I just made out of mesquite? And it's a crotch. And it's got three branches coming out of it. Man, are you kidding? Would I like to see it? Ship it to me. No, don't ship it to me. Uh, but I'd love to see it. You see, a piece of wood that you would normally pass over can be turned into serious artwork. Remember, you see the art. Don't worry about them. You see the art, and it's just like that. But he wanted to make it a food-safe product, so we were talking about what to put on it. Well, he's from California. Don't hold it against them. they got nice people out there. It's just their government sucks. Um, but he was trying to do ob juice and couldn't buy DNH and alcohol. We found the mat or a replacement for it. 
And then he said, what if I put an oil finish and then coat it with a beeswax? You know, that would work. But I put the oil finish on it and let it sit for a couple of days. It will go in. It will leave some highs and some lows. and But it would seal it. And then you clean it with cloth. Not only a lathe. No cloths on a lathe. Remember the rule. And then you, once you clean it, then you scotch it. I'm going to use that term. Uh, you use the, the pads and you clean it up. That gets any of the high spots and low spots cleaned up. All right? And then you put the beeswax on. The finish doesn't finish the job, and the beeswax doesn't finish the job. You do. So if you want it to look good, get it all prepped out and go go, go over it. Now, he can also do that Obi Shine juice, which is one-third of linseed oil, one-third of alcohol, and one-third of white shellac, or clear shellac. I say white. Don't go get that stuff for painting walls in the kitchen. You want to get clear shellac. Now they got clear, and they got an orange, and they got a brown. Get the clear. Don't fool around with it. Um, but you put that on it. You do the same thing. You let it, I say cook. You let it dry for a day or two. All the rises come up. All the fuzzies come up. And then you knock them off slowly with that brillo pad. And get down. And then you can top it with wax or CA or poly. Oh, wait, he's in California. You can get a poly. Um, but you can coat it with another product. The OB Shine Juice will fill in those voids and help you get a small, smoother, even glass-type finish on it. Now, you don't have to finish it like glass. You can finish it a little bit uh, mate. <laughs> you like that word, huh? All right? You can finish it like that, and you'll end up with a beautiful piece. And keep in mind, I think, it's your work. You did the best. Now, I got off course, didn't I? Don said he wanted to show me that bowl. And I said, fine. Because we're still going to keep going with the Worldwide Wood Turners and Big Guy Productions. We're going to keep on going. I just can't go in the shop right now. Um, did I tell you they took away my car keys and canceled my driver's license? They didn't trust me that I wasn't going to go drive. They put my truck back in the driveway. I think it's just a tease. But it's the rules. And I'm going to play by the rules for a little bit. Um, but if you're interested in showing me some of your work, send it to me. The, ad, 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 yeah, the email address is right here. Captain, C-A-P-N, E-D-D-I-E, Castellan at gmail.com. That's where you can send it, and I'll use it. I'm writing up a newsletter tonight. Why? Because TV tonight kind of sucks. Um but I'm going to use it, and I got about a dozen photographs. And then I got some little taglines and all this, some folks have sent me, and some little quips. I'm going to add those to it because it's always fun to have fun. All right. Hey, did I mention that I'm Captain Eddie Castellan, and I'm making shavings? And don't you forget it. Get out and shop, have fun. When you do your art, share it with me. I'd love it. Thank you. If only could dry.